Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. This app is called Latex, Latex, something like that. It is a new note-taking app with a few different possibilities. Let's start with the sidebar. It gives me sort of a notion, no, uh, one note uh, or, or even um, click up docs vibe. It looks really, really cool. You can create a folder and you can have different notes or cards inside of that folder. Uh, and just to show you the power of this app, I will use uh, the About Latex uh, page or folder. And we can turn this into a graph or a mind map. And from the mind map, I could actually add new things. And I could even add cards if I wanted to. So I have a few cards. This is called how to write a blog post. I will remove this, but I could add a card. If I want to link different things together, I can. I can relate them together like this in the mind map view. And when I jump back into the regular view, you can see that add new things shows up in my sidebar. So this is really, really cool. Another thing that is really cool is that it has backlinking functionality. So I could link to Notion or I could even link to a card if I wanted to. So you remember the cards I showed you here. I can easily link cards and I can open them here. Uh, and I can link to pages and I can get them open in a card like this. So Notion is a productivity productivity app so now if i jump back into notion you can see that this shows up back into the mind map view you can see that i have played around with this a little bit you can add different colors to this if you wanted to if you like to see different colors or you could totally remove it from your project but it has it is a quite fun app to use. One more thing I wanted to show you is that, let's say I wanted to create a blog post about different note-taking apps. I could add a goal here. Uh, let's try again. It should work. I can add a goal here. It doesn't. It is supposed to work, but as you can see, it is really early days for this app. Um, but you can actually add your word goals here. Let's say I wanted to write thousand words and the deadline was this Sunday, three days remaining and 7% pr finished. And I could just go on and write things and it counts the words. So this is good if you're writing a blog post and you want to see your mind map. And you can do the same inside of your pages. You can add your goals here as well. I will do a full tutorial on this once I have gotten the hang of it, but it is really fairly priced. It has a pricing plan which costs $3.99 each month. $20 for the yearly or $20.99, so $21, or $90 for a five-year plan, which is quite good. And um, on the pro plan, you can actually export it to PDF or Docs. So this is quite good for uh, students, for people who do regular writing, whether that's a blog post or you're an author or you want to write a book. This is an amazing tool and having mind maps as well as uh, as well as well uh, the pages and even flashcards is great. So this is probably amazing for students, but it is good for writers as well. As I said, I will do a full tutorial on this. Uh, if you have any questions, anything you want me to cover, about this app please do comment down below and i will try to get to it as soon as i can thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you again quite soon